Hey everyone, welcome to our Render Spaz video tutorial, and today we are going to create Beats Pill Bluetooth speaker. And we're going to do the red one, but as you can see here, I just laid out some other materials uh, or different colors of the speaker that they sell just for fun for this uh, cover photo. But we're going to go through a lot of uh, steps where it comes to um, creating the pill, the case. The um, the grill area here. We're also going to do the logo. Everything that you see here, uh, it's not 100% finished, but it's very close. There's a couple of things I wanted to add, but I can add them later. But hopefully, this is, gives you enough to get the idea and how you can create your own um, and get something like this. All right, guys, let's get started, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a tutorial. Let's get this thing all fired up and let's go we'll take a look at the center here of where we're going to build over like so so we got uh, the whole capsule like this and what I'm gonna do now is go over to uh, the extended parameters and we're gonna look at capsule so we can just go right to the center like so drag it up until it meets the edges here of our reference image Okay, drag that out. Let's go to the, this view here. And then we're just going to kind of rough out the shape here. Something. It's going to center this pivot. There we go. Let's just bring this uh, height up a bit more. So let's get right to the edge here. There we go. So once we have it to the edge, we can just kind of of our height the way we want. Something like that. Okay, we can see it's pretty close. Now, um, let's move our height. Or sorry, let's do our radius just a bit bigger here. This way when we get a turbo smooth. Pretty good. So bring that just a bit more at the height here. There we go. So that should look pretty good for the this view here as well. A little bit uh, too big, too big here. There we go. All right. So what we're going to look for here is if we go to our side view here. Okay, you're going to see this is kind of where our cut's going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to move our sides or add some more sides here. But we want to make sure that the sides, let's see here. So we're going to want it to have a pretty uniform. Go about uh, let's do 56. Okay, something like that. And we can adjust the scale a little bit more later on. Right now, this is pretty good. I'm just gonna actually center this guy. Uh, this is okay. 
So what we're going to try to do here is we need to get a cut going here uh, along this edge. So if you hide this, we need to get this cut to come through. So let's uh, let's let's do that. Take this angle Get a little bit closer. Something like that. that. Okay, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a shell modifier. Yeah, we may go to the other side here. This, take this guy, we're going to have a Boolean, and we are going to do a subtraction. There you have it. Okay, so we got this. So now we got that nice curve, that nice bend. Um, well, actually, before we do that, let's add a shell modifier. Like this here. How much thickness we want to the left view here. Let's take a look where our thickness would be. So maybe something about here. Okay, now let's go back up to our Boolean. We're gonna select and subtract that out. And there we go. Now we get a nice cut all the way through. Perfect. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. All right, so we just had to add a little bit more, um, just to make it a little more dense of a mesh. We got this nice little cut, and there we go. Just curious here. Let's gonna do a retopology tool here and see what this does. Ooh, it's actually really nice. Oh my, what a great tool. Okay, <laughs> this is wonderful. I just want to see if I go to 2000, what do we get from that? Just maybe a little bit. Yeah. A little easier to work with. Okay. Very cool. Okay, so I want to keep this capsule just so that I have it for reference. And that way, when we create our grill, we'll have um, the proper curvature around that caps this whole piece. And as you can see right now, if we go to the left view, this is pretty much matching. I'm just going to have to scale this down and move a little bit more after, but that's going to give us the right uh, curvature that I was looking for. And uh, yeah, okay, great. So what I want to do now is let's, um, let's see what's our next piece here. So I guess it would be, at this point, the grill is important, so we can get that in place. So let me see if I was to... So... So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this capsule. So we have capsule two. I'm going to go into our Boolean operation here and I want to bring back that part that we cut out. So I'm just going to go in local axes here. We're going to go by the Z and just bring this back in so that we can reuse it for later. Okay, so I just want to get it so that it's pretty much right to the edge. Like so. Okay, I think that should do for now. Okay, so now we have this. And actually what I want to do is just, uh, let's go back to our Boolean here. Go back to the plane. Now if I can figure out here how to You know what? Let's let's do this. Put this to an edible poly. So now we have. Let's get rid of this capsule for a minute. This is hide it. This is the one that we're going to use the base for. So or the uh, grill, speaker grill. Delete that guy out. And now we have this. Okay. Not at all. And there we go. So now we have two elements. Um, if we want, I think we could copy over this one here. Okay, let's run that. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> okay, uh, at this point. So I don't... I'm going to try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so... Let's read topology tool. And I think what's happening here... Let me just run this again. Oh, actually, that, that worked. Okay. Uh, maybe I'd do 2,000. So it just didn't want to be an instance. It should, uh, yeah, it should do it. Okay, so that works. And then we have these uh, interesting pieces here. So that looks pretty good. Um, the grill looks good. Okay, so what it does is it does sink in a little bit, so we can, let's just see, if I do the push modifier, let's bring this one down slightly a bit. Interesting. Let's see if I can see scale it down. this to edible poly so everything's matching We just gotta get this a little bit more in place here, just to be a little more even in some certain spots. But I think we're getting pretty close there. So once we um, add a edible poly here on top of this, we can double click here all the way around. We're gonna do a chamfer. So where's my chamfer tool here? Subdivision. There you go. This could probably come down maybe a bit more. Let's just see what's going on here. Hide that out. Yeah, so we're going to need to add some more edges here. So I'm just going to get rid of that real quick. 
quick. I'm going to jump right here. Make this a little bit shorter. And then this one here. It's a little too rounded. Yeah. Let's get rid of that guy. Jump right here. Okay, so there's our two pieces right there. Um, just want to make sure everything looks even here. Okay, we obviously have to add the open subdivisions here as well. I paste it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Here. Well, you can see the difference. That's looking pretty good. So, what we're going to do next is uh, we could start to. So, we're going to need to flatten out this, uh, this area down here. Let's move it on the left view here. How flat it is down there. Um, let's, let's see if I can find an angle here. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much flattened out. So I think we can do a couple of um, modifications here to our bottom piece. As you can see, it kind of comes around. So where does it flatten out?
the center of these guys out.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the grill material here and we are just going to take our opacity bitmap here of this grill uh, image and we're just going to drag it into our opacity slot like this. Okay, this way we're going to get the holes all in there but what's happening right now because this map and if you could find a better map uh, this map though has a little bit of uh, if we can view it here you can see that there's this like a little bit of like a webbish, like a grill. Actually, I don't know. It's possible to actually have that in there. Uh, so I don't get any large amounts of dust or anything in there. But I think what we can do is uh, let's see here. Let's just see if I can maybe let's get the right color in. Maybe we'll work with a different color here. Let's see what kind of color we can work with. Um, let's go back to my... Let's do the red. Okay, I don't think this will be exactly the red right now, but that's okay. This is good enough. And yeah, this is it's looking pretty good. Add back the shell modifier in. Yeah, there we go. Now get some thickness. It's working out. So 
something like that. So this is going to work. Okay, so we didn't even have to model this in. Um, this one. Actually, I just want to take out this for now. System. Uh, no, where are we at here? It's not going to use these right now. Okay. So what we see here is the, the little elements, the web part inside the uh, grill um, perforations here. So what we're going to do is I want to just get a little bit of roundness going on or edging uh, in towards the uh, perforations. So let's uh, see if we can use a uh, round corner and see if that gives us a little bit of uh, some detail that we're looking for for the grill. So I'm going to go over to our bump map, uh, or normal. We're going to drag out from here. And we're going to go bump, bump 3D. Or actually, sorry, to do that, we're going to do round corners. So we're going to come over to, back to the texture, or sorry, bump, round corners. And uh, we can start to try to get something here. So I'm going to go 0.1. over here and let's um, give ourselves some more roughness here to the body here and then I just want to uh, let's give a little bit of metalness. should do. Okay, and then for our body here, we're going to have to uh, get a nice color going here. So let's just go over to, we got our red, and I believe the color, it, um, it seems to me it's very matte. There's not a lot of shininess to it. Um, 
So yeah, it's very matte. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to copy from the grill and we're going to now call this body instead. I'm going to drag this over. Okay, so we have something like this. I believe we want to stay with the same color tones, but the thing is, I don't really want the metalness. So I'm going to go back maybe 0.1, and we'll do that 0.1 over here as well. Both of those guys. Now there might be a slight difference in the color. Um, well, it's pretty much the same. So I think we're just going to have to get a little more. Let's just see how we're going to get this color. I probably want to go more towards this. about that is based off the website. Oh, I should maybe show you what's going on. That's actually pretty close. Uh, but yeah, we need to... Uh, it's very close. It's just that from this... I think we might be a little bit too red in this area, so let's just uh, let's, let's tweak that out a bit. Let's go hit M for material. bit of more highlight in there. You can see more of the surface. Um, this little area comes up a little bit too much here, so we're going to have to fix that. I like how this edging goes around. Looks good. It's just more in the metal section there. But I think we can probably do something about that. pretty good it's just a little bit uneven there so it gets a little bit shorter and that's because we weren't too uniform with when we did the cut here so we had to do a little bit of modifications but I think we can I think we can get it there so let's just go back and uh, see what we can do
There we go, that's starting to look better. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to speed up the video real quick here. We're just going to go over uh, just adding in some uh, Boolean operations here to, so that we can um, get the indents of the, uh, the buttons and all that. Uh, so we're just going to do this by, uh, we're going to clone the body here just so we have a one that we can kind of work with and the other one in case we don't like what we've done, we can revert back to our original case here. So I'm just going to start off with a sphere and we can now just kind of align this sphere with the surface here. I'm just going to rotate it and squish it down. And we're just going to kind of place it over. And this is what I'm doing here, just placing it over uh, until it sinks in a bit. And we can hit the subtract here. And as you can see in real time, we can just move this guy up a bit so that we're not going right into the case here. So it's creating a hole. We just want to be able to kind of just sit on the surface and we get that nice little indent. I'm going to just kind of scale this a little bit more so that it, it's just a little bit bigger and I'm just going to widen it out and just position this like so. Okay, and we're going to just try to get it in there. So we're going to, this is the on and off button here. moving it around until I get a position I like. Okay, so we're just speeding up the video just so it's not too much of a uh, long process here for you guys to uh, follow along. But I hope you get the idea of what I'm doing here by using the booleans and just copying over the spheres to each of the sides and getting something like this. All right, so that seems to look pretty good. It does the job. Uh, and so in the render, that's looking pretty good as well. And uh, now what we can do is start to build our uh, on and off uh, the icon here. So we'll just grab out a uh, tube and we're going to cut it like so. Bring in uh, a box and stretch it out just to kind of get the shape of the on and off switch. And we'll just drop it right in here. Okay. And then what we're going to do with that is we're just going to go over and we are going to uh, use a subtract on here and I'll cut up, cut out the shape of that. Alright, so we'll just cut it out, the subtract, and we can move that around and adjust it accordingly to center it. Let's maybe make it a little bit smaller, something like that. Just get it in the middle, bring it down and subtract that and now you can see we're getting those nice shapes and we can also do that with the other ones as well so that be a little bit of a surface issue here and we can uh, we can address that in just a moment here I'm trying to use a retopology tool to see if I can uh, get things to kind of work uh, a little bit of a rebuild here but that seems to not be working too well so we'll just stick to what we have but we just need to do the plus and minus uh, uh, icons as well. And let's just finish these guys up. All right, and that, that should uh, pretty much do it for the top part here.
right, so this next stage, we want to add in our logo, the Beats logo. So we're gonna just do that by using um, a font here that's very close to uh, what the Beats logo would be. Okay, it's not exact, but it's something pretty close and we can do some modifications to then uh, to get it looking correct. But right now this is a little bit skinny, so uh, we're gonna have to try to do some modifications to the spline and get it just a little bit thicker. So let's do that. So once we have the logo looking a little bit more uh, accurate to the real thing here, we can now extrude and bevel. And what we're gonna have to do here is conform and try to bend the logo to fit the speaker grill area there. So we're gonna do that in just a moment here. I'm just gonna try to extrude and get a little bit of beveling and just try to uh, get a little bit more of a shape here. All right, so we're gonna now See, uh, quantify the mesh this way we can bend it okay so there's a couple of ways you can do this you can conform or you can bend uh, and so what I'm going to try to do is do some conforming just for fun so let's let's try to see what we can get with those results of conform all right Okay, so we're going to now, um, what we want to do here is we're going to add a material that's going to be more like a brush metal uh, material. So let's just go in, add a material here, surface, standard material. We're going to drag this guy out into our Beats logo here. And we're just going to add some metalness. All right, let's bring that up to one, maybe some roughness. Just try to get something a little bit nice and reflective. Also, we want to keep in mind that we want to have a little bit of brushed metal. So 0.9, roughness 0.3-ish. Maybe even darken that up a bit. And let's see. Yeah, something like that. It's a little more toned down. And we're getting some nice glare at certain angles. And now we can start to um, work on the little feet at the bottom here. The rubber... Uh, Feet that will hold up the speaker. So I'm just going to use a rectangle. Okay, we can now convert that into an edible spline. So let's just go over here. We can grab our corners and we're going to uh, fill it and have it rounded off like so. We just drag this up and extrude it. And we're just going to bring it over to where we feel that the um, little feet should be. here just before that I should do it I'm just gonna kind of bring it right over here but yeah we're still on the edge there that's good we're not going over so I'm gonna bring it back just a bit somewhere in here Welded, and 
And we're just going to add a little chamfer here just to round off some of the corners. Something like that. And then we can copy these guys over to their spots. Just going to mirror this over into X and then grab them all. Red here. Yes. Okay. And let's uh, see what we have here. There we go. So we got the little feet there. A little rubber uh, feet, and that should work out pretty good. All right. So we got our Beats logo now added in with the grill. And the opacity is working good on that grill too as well. Oh yeah, that's looking a little bit more like the product now. Okay, so then if we add a floor just to kind of see what it would look like sitting on the floor. Inside these guys. Alright guys, this is looking more completed. There's a few little things that I still have to add, but at this point I think I'm going to conclude this video tutorial and you guys get a, the idea of how you can create your own um, Beats Pills Bluetooth speaker. And there's just, you know, small things like the top. There's some areas where there would be the little uh, LED lights that wouldn't be on the top. Um, there's also the area where the strap would be. But other than that, guys, this is pretty much the meat and potatoes of this model so I just want to stop it here I hope you guys get uh, the idea and what you can do and how you can create your own and what I've done to get this far and using those um, some of the techniques with the boolean and also doing some retopology and so there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Thank you for watching and following along and all the people that have uh, been supporting me over the years. We're going to continue to give you great quality content coming your way. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Take care.